Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be doing a review on these Hayabusa Pro Boxing Shoes. So stay tuned. Hey, what's up guys, Carlo here, and today I'm doing a review on the Hayabusa Pro Boxing Shoes. You can get this from the Hayabusa website for $99. I got mine in the blue colorway, size 11. You can also get it in red, black, and white. Sizing-wise, they come in men's size 6 to 13. So if you're a female or a youth, make sure to use a, uh, a shoe conversion chart to find out the correct size uh, for you if you're looking uh, to purchase these shoes. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put one side down uh, that way you can kind of break the shoe down and give you guys the detail on the shoe. Now, you can see it's a really attractive looking shoe. I've had these for a little over two weeks now, using these every day for my training, um, sparring, hitting the mitts. So I have a pretty good idea of how these perform both in terms of uh, movement, using your footwork, and then uh, comfort. Obviously, one of the biggest things when it comes to footwear, just like your gloves, is going to be comfort. And I always say this to people that if it's not comfortable, you're not going to want to use it and it's going to end up being uh, somewhere in your garage collecting dust. So. Um, the most optimal part of a boxing shoe is going to be the comfort and then everything else kind of falls in line after that. Uh, now with that being said, the magic question I always get asked is, are these good shoes good for white feet? And the answer to that is yes. I have white feet um, and it's always kind of a journey for me to find boxing shoes that are comfortable over a period of time. Now when I say that, a lot of times when you put on shoes and you're trying them on, when it comes to boxing shoes, you might have that initial feel that they do feel comfortable. You slide your foot in there, oh, these feel great. You know, they're nice and snug and I love the lacing. They look awesome. You're looking in the mirror, you feel good. You start shadow boxing in front of your mirror and all that, <laughs> all that good stuff. You feel, but when you go to the gym and put them on, you start training with them, give them about six, seven rounds, about an hour into your training, you start noticing that there's areas on your foot that start to hurt. You're like, oh crap, I spent all that money. These shoes are uncomfortable. They're tight around the foot, bed, the, the, uh, the toe box. My heel's starting to get blistered and you're starting to feel like you kind of wasted your money a little bit. So with that being said, um, I've had the same issue too. And there's certain brands like Nike, some Adidas that are really tight fitting. That's just the way they design their shoes. Why they don't make wide sizes. I have no idea that would be a great thing that they did that but up to this point my favorite shoes have been probably the adams boxing shoes when it comes to wide feet because they have a really nice toe box that's accommodating for wider feet um, and my rival guerrero uh, rsx guerrero shoes which i did a review on uh, i think about seven years ago six or seven years ago so uh, with that being said now that i mentioned the rivals these shoes really remind me of those rivals both in terms of the aesthetics of the shoe and just the way they fit. They're a lightweight shoe, they only weigh 15 ounces per shoe. Um, so I put them on the scale to weigh them. Uh, I'll give you guys kind of the breakdown of the material that they use on here. These shoes are manufactured in China, designed in North America, no surprise there. It uses a polyurethane upper and a rubber EVA um, sole. So it uses a rubber also with an EVA um, midsole right here that you can pull out. And the great thing about the insole on the inside is that it's actually removable. So if you have custom orthotics that you want more cushioning, you can take those out and slide them, slide your own orthotics in. One other thing is these do not come in half sizes, which is okay. So if you are say size 10 and a half, go to size 11. If you're not size nine and a half, go to size 10. If you're a whole size like size nine, stay true to size because I find that these shoes do a really nice job, again, of accommodating wide feet. I wear size 10 and a half. These are size 11, just to show you guys right there, US 11. And the area that I always have problems with, and it may be the same for you, is this area on the toe box. Uh, typically, the side of my foot right here, the bone sticks out a little bit more, I have fatter feet. And over a period of time, especially shoes like the Hyper KO, the Macho Mice, it starts to really hurt in this area. And maybe the toe box is a little too narrow. So it feels like your, like your toes are, are doing like that, like your toes are fighting over each other and trying to, trying to get the spot that they're trying to be in. And, and you don't get that with these shoes, which is great. And it's, it's refreshing to have a boxing shoe that kind of gives you that element of breathability and letting your feet feel comfortable while you use them. So you have a mesh upper, you also have that polyurethane upper. This polyurethane piece right here, it's kind of like the skeleton of the shoe. This is what gives it the form and the actual um, structure of the shoe. 
where the mesh upper right here is softer and gives you the breathability. So that's really nice. You have that Hayabusa logo on the exterior on the outside foot right there with the kind of that gold hawk. It also say Hayabusa on the tongue with a uh, rubberized plastic patch. This is boxing, Hayabusa boxing. Um, you also have these gold uh, lace holes right here. That's actually embroidered. They're stitched in there. Hayabusa, that's also another plastic patch on the back of the shoe with the little loop right here with the Hawk logo and a really nice solid heel cup as well. You can see the rubber outsole actually kind of curves up to the heel cup, which gives you good support on your heel. This is a mid shoe, which is my favorite. Um, they do have low top shoes out there. Not Hayabusa, but generally speaking, low top. And they have those really high top shoes. The, the, the great thing about the high tops is you get a lot of support. The bad thing is for everyday training, they're kind of a pain in the ass to take on, uh, put on and take off. So you're, you're having to put the high top shoe on and then you have to lace all the laces up, lace them, lace them, lace them up. And it just kind of becomes an inconvenience. Great if you have maybe a sanctioned fight coming up and you really want to wear those shoes and you want the support, that's fine. And it's really up to you. But mid is kind of the bang for, that's the sweet spot when it comes to shoe. They're easy to put on. You do have ample amount of ankle support so you don't have to really worry about rolling your ankle like you do with a low top shoe. So to me, the mid rise is where it's at. So you have that right there. And then you have the outsole. So this is a rubberized outsole that is nice and grippy. It kind of has a scale design to it. And very similar to a lot of the other boxing shoes, it has the rubber outsole that kind of rolls up to the side right here. And it gives you that little extra traction for lateral movement. Unlike uh, wrestling shoes though, it doesn't have a rolled outsole, so it is flat. So when you're using this for lateral movement, moving side to side, front to back, you don't feel like you're gonna roll your ankle at any point in time, like a, like a wrestling shoe typically would, where it has a little bit more of a rolled feel to it because when wrestling, you're really at sharp angles and you're on the floor or on the mat. So you're not really worried about so much as footwork like you are, you would as a boxer would when you're moving around the ring. So the outsole does a really nice job of giving you a good amount of grip. You could pivot, you can move front and back, you can use your footwork really nicely. It has a good amount of grip right there. And um, you can see right here, it's a really nice design. Everything is stitched in properly. No extra glue marks. Um, the construction is done really nicely there. So manufacturing has done a really nice job. The material that they use on here is almost like a suede, micro suede, velour type feel. You have this polyurethane, which feels kind of like a synthetic leather, and then obviously the mesh. So you have three kinds of materials on the upper, and then the rubber also on the bottom. Um, and so it's kind of the micro, the micro suede, the, the mesh, and this polyurethane upper. Now the laces are these kind of round flat laces that have the little edges on the side. The nice thing about these is when you lace them and you tie them, um, unlike round, completely round laces, these don't come undone. So once you lace them up, you lock them down, you don't have to um, worry about them coming undone. Uh, to me, round laces are, are nice, but they, over time, will start to kind of un undo themselves. Flat laces are nice for staying locked in place, but then they're a pain in, pain in the ass to undo because once you tie them down, you have to kind of dig your finger into the knot to try to, un to undo the lace, which is a pain too. So th to me, this is like a, kind of like the happy medium between flat laces and round laces is the, is the flat round lace. So just to show you guys, the in inside right here uses this mesh material that's really, really breathable. And you also have a removable insole. It does have a little bit of glue on it, but you're able to kind of tug on it and pull the insole out. So again, if you want to use your own custom orthotics, you can. And you can see Hayabusa actually does a really nice job of giving you a pretty decent insole that has a good amount of cushioning. Typically, you don't see that with a lot of boxing shoes. They usually just put like this piece of foam in there that's super flat, that has no cushioning to it, which is fine. Some people don't need that extra cushion, but it's really nice for those of you that do you need the cushioning like I do. You have a little bit more cushioning on the heel and you also have it kind of, you can see how it has a texture right there in the midfoot and then towards the toe area. You have these little bumps and stuff that helps your feet grip into the shoe. Um, and the cushioning is really nice. You can see cushioning wise, I mean, you're looking at like almost an inch and a half, two inches of cushioning just on the heel that comes down. And, you know, decent art support. You know, again, if you need art support, get your own orthotics and slide them into the shoe. Uh, but overall, I do love the fact that you get uh, a thicker insole that gives you a little bit more comfort. Um, the good thing about being able to remove the insole too is that the shoe is a little bit too um, 
too large by hair, you can get a thicker insole, which will basically elevate your foot inside the shoe to make it a little bit more snug. Or if the shoe is too snug, you can remove the insole that comes with it and go with a thinner insole, which will give you a little bit more breathing room on the inside. So kind of a dual purpose thing. So that's pretty much the look of the shoe. You also have the tongue right here that has the canvas loop that come with the laces go through that keeps the tongue tied in really nicely. So overall, using these shoes has been a really, a, a really great experience. I mean, um, my biggest thing, like I said before, is gonna be the comfort of the shoe. Um, I definitely think currently these are my favorite shoes right now uh, because of how they accommodate my wider feet. They give a good amount of grip. They look nice. I got a lot of compliments on these shoes. They give you a multiple different colors. They're not too crazy expensive at $99. They're right there in the sweet spot. Uh, I, I guess you want to call it a sub $100 shoe because it is 99 bucks technically. Um, so if you compare it to other shoes out there, you know, Nike Hyper KOs are, you know, $100. $74, $179, they're up there, um, you know. So there's other shoes out there that are $100 on up. So I think Hayabusa did a really nice job. I think they hit the sweet spot with this shoe in terms of looks, pricing, performance, accommodating white feet. If I were to improve anything with the shoe is maybe give, you know, give more half sizes or give half sizes for people to choose from, maybe offer more colors. Um, outside of that, that's really it. I think really, other than that, there's really not much to improve on with this shoe. I, I really like the shoes a lot. So if you guys have any questions or comments, make sure you guys leave them down below in the comments box. I'll put the link in the description box where you can find these Hayabusa Pro Boxing Shoes. See you guys later. Take care.